Hey guys, how's it going? This is Branding Time, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what I have written down here. This is my to-do list for today's tutorial. I have the stroke stabilizer, the pressure stabilizer, and different blending brushes. So let's get started with the stroke stabilizer. I'm just going to go in here and invis this layer right here. The stroke stabilizer can be found by double clicking any of the brushes over here. Now this can be your bucket, this can be your airbrush, this can be your water tool, blend, copic, paint, water, tint, chalk, whatever it may be. You can stabilize whatever it is and as you can see I use pen and lead a lot so these have the most these have the most you know differences. So a stroke stabilizer helps you set stroke smoothing level individually. You guys will have to excuse me. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning here. But I wanted to do a t tutorial for you guys. So my words are kind of slurring together, but that is what it is. So let's let's start with a zero. And you can see this is where this is where my brush is. So this little circle right here. I'm going to circle this and inside this, this little circle you see is my brush. So as you can see, it sticks right where my my little circle is and my hand is really wobbly so we're gonna erase that and I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to change the stroke stabilizer to S7 this is gonna make a huge difference but, th but this is going to show me and you the difference now as you can see you can see my little pointer that's really far ahead of my circle and it's doing its job. It's stabilizing my brush. Now I'm gonna show you kind of the in-between which is an S2. It's a little bit easier. You can still use your you know your precious sensitivity so we're gonna go from really small to really big. So that's that's what the stroke stabilizer does pressure stabilizer this sets pressure smoothing level individually so we're gonna go to 15 now I haven't messed around with this very much but basically what this does is if you have really swervy lines it kinda helps correct it um, it's pretty it's pretty helpful especially when you're when you're kinda doing like this number it just kinda helps stabilize all your strokes this is really good for grass and fur and plants and you can kind of see how you could get a plant a plant effect out of that you know or an alien effect or something strange that it shouldn't be but that's what these do so I'm gonna go back in here to my list and I'm gonna exit that out and I'm gonna exit that out this is the part I was looking forward to the different blending brushes now Moving right along in the tutorial series, I'm I'm a little bit past telling you guys a lot about the programs and selections because the ones that I've done, I've taught you how to use the preserve opacity, the clipping group, the opacity bar. I've taught you how to create folders and layers and line art layers, erase, delete, merge down. I showed you guys the select tool, the fill tool, the free select and the magic wand. Um, there's a few other things that we can discuss, like how to get your color swatches and all that good stuff going on here. I don't really use any of this, but I, I prefer to just stick with my color wheel. So let's move on to the different blending brushes. I'm just going to go ahead and erase that because you guys know where we're going from here. So I'm going to take, let me get this back down to zero. I'm going to take brush and do two different greens. Now these are two totally polar opposite greens and I'm going to take blur. That's one of the tools you can use. Okay, you can use blur and as you can see it also blurs. If you haven't colored something, it also blurs it white. So that's what that brush does. That was blur guys. Now we're going to take water. Water has this really cool like I don't know, kind of paint-esque. If you pull from over here, it pulls that color. If you pull from over here, it pulls that color. So that's pretty useful. That's water. That is water number 10. This is water number 9. There's not really a huge difference between these two. 
let's see, what else do we have in here? We have water. Now these waters are a little bit different. They're a little bit thicker. This is water number three. All right, that's pretty useful. It kind of does the same thing that the original did, but it's it's a little bit thicker, has more of an opaque effect to it. This one really blends the color in. So this is water number two, and this is water number one. So it kind of has like a pastel effect to it. That's kind of cool. Now, these are all the brushes that I have. I don't know what you guys have, but, you know, it's it might be might be a little bit more useful to kind of go through yours and see what yours offer you know and let's see I think oil water does the same thing I'm not sure but we can try it I haven't really been in here to mess around but I just wanted to kind of explore so I figured I'd do it with you guys let's see oil water oh yeah wow that's a cool effect that really brings it all together don't it I don't know if streak does anything streak just kind of goes in there and does its own thing. Binary is just a really thick, hideous color thing. What are these Copics? Oh, those are blending too. Those are those are blending. They didn't blend much, but they did. And Chunky is just a brush. That's a really cool brush. If you guys can see it, it's kind of like drawing with a square piece of chalk. <laughs> and speaking of chalk, we have this. This is broken chalk. As you can see, it's doing exactly what the other one did, just with a nice little texture to it. And grass, this is a really cool one. We are getting out of the blending brushes, but I'm just going to continue on. This is grass. This is a really cool little wicked brush. All right, so we got all that. I hope you guys enjoyed what I did have to offer. And be sure to subscribe and comment below and I will see you guys later and we will be posting another video next week to talk a little bit more about brushes and I'm gonna go into this alright y'all have a good night and be sure to stay tuned